YouTube, what's going on? Solution for the Solution Kicks back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap, smack, bang, punch, throw, stab, shank, that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things and you too can be a part of the Mighty Four Kicks Brigade. So just to get you caught up on a few things, we're running the open box discussion weekly series. I've made it my business to try to get this out to you guys weekly. What day it drops, it's whatever day I'm free. All right, got a lot of stuff on my plate right now. Once again, <laughs> as soon as I say I'm, I'm, I'm chilling, I don't have much going on. I add some stuff to my plate, you guys, but that's okay. I'm gonna get these videos out to you, um, hopefully in a bi-weekly manner so we can build up that energy again. So today's open box discussion was really going to be a review of a sneaker that I purchased about a week and a half ago. Um, and I held off on it, I actually said it in my last video. I had it sitting there chilling, which was um, kind of my whole uh, imagery thing I like to do. I like to allude to a lot of things in my videos. If you pay attention, there's some stuff going on. Easter eggs, if you will. I've been doing that for a while um, within my videos. Some people get it, some people catch some things, some people don't. All right, but all my videos have some kind of imagery in them to kind of spark some things if you're paying attention. I love Marvel, that's why I do that. So today's open box discussion is the Impulse Buy. The, the sneaker that you purchased that you went, I don't know, months later, weeks later even, why did I buy these? I'm really not feeling them after I look at them. Maybe I'll take them back, maybe I'll sell them. Maybe I'll just leave them in the collection or whatever. I don't know why I bought those. And just to give a brief history and rundown on my uh, history of the Impulse Buy. And it started when I was about five to six months deep into my YouTube channel in 2017. I went to SneakerCon Dallas and I stopped at three outlets along the way and I bought a lot of sneakers, great deals. And the only reason why I bought these sneakers was because of the deals. I was getting upwards to 40, 50% off the sneakers um, due to some gift cards I had. You know, the, the family and friends, $25, $50 off. I had those cards along with my military uh, discount and they were going like 30, 40% off on a lot of things in those particular outlets. So I, I bought a lot of shoes, okay? Even within that month outside of the um, the trip to SneakerCon, June, July, mid-June, mid-July, I bought a lot of shoes, y'all. And um, I started looking at these shoes around September, October. And I was like, I'm, I'm not gonna wear those. So I started flipping them. I would take them to the outlet, um, swap the shoe for another shoe, or make up the difference with another shoe, whatever it was, or sell them to someone. Um, but once again, to, to clarify things, if you're new to the channel, I'm not a reseller. I have sold sneakers I've actually worn, but I do not purchase sneakers for the sole purpose of reselling that shoe to someone else at a higher price. That's not what I do. But anyway, the Impulse Buy. The Impulse Buy, like I said, is the sneaker that you purchased that you already knew that you probably wouldn't have bought these unless they they were just there, okay? Oh, no, that's a good deal. Knowing that you probably won't wear the shoe, but you just wanted it because you could buy it. It's right there. And, and part of it is a psychological thing too. It's like when you go into the grocery store, Walmart, whatever, they have the end caps and they have the, the candy bars and the soda and the water and all that stuff and the, um you know, frozen treats. You know, they got the little freezer right there. And you go, oh, yeah, I would like that. They got some lip balm, some lotion, uh, a uh, cell phone, um, battery backup charger, some, some junk you don't need, but it's right there in front of you, so you buy it. And that's how sneakers work a lot of times when you have these impulse buys. A lot of our collections are, I, I would surmise, probably about 40% impulse buys because someone gassed you up to buy them or they were simply there and you were cool with the price. Like, oh, look at those. I can buy them, I'm going to buy them. So let me break out this shoe for you guys. This shoe <clears throat> was a, a two-part pack and I got a feeling we're probably gonna see quite a few more of these shoes because it's been popular. And this was this, the version that was um, a little easier to get. It, it was somewhat of a limited GR, if you will. Limited general release for those of you new to the channel. Um, of course, always legit. Shout out to Foot Action. I just dropped the bag right here. 
Um, yeah, shout out the foot action. And these were quick strikes, you guys. They were quick strikes. I didn't know that because when they dropped, I was in Denver and I wasn't really paying attention to sneakers at the time. So I got my three lace colorways right here. Um, I left the factory lacing in them. Um, so these uh, Nike, excuse me, Jordan brand. It, I'm thinking, I have three other videos in my head, you guys, pardon me. These are <laughs> the Air Jordan 1 Skateboard uh, Defiant, um, what was it, New York to Paris or something like that? Yeah, New York to Paris version. So we all know that you can rub away this, um, what are they calling this gray right here? Uh, this light bone to get a uh, sort of hot pink um, colorway underneath here and you know it's something unique I, I give it to them it gives you a little bit more you know as far as a sneaker different options and stuff like that but I actually like them in this manner and some people say they would be even doper if you couldn't see the pink undertone around the edges I I'm cool with that it gives them a little character a little flavor now here's one reason why I'm kind of on the fence my true size is a nine pretty much nine and a half and uh, Jordan ones, I can get away with a 10 because, you know, these are clunkers, if you will. You know, th you're talking about mid 80s technology right here. And um, I can get away with a 10. A, a 10 feels fine. Even a 10 and a half some, depending on the toe box. The the, the Jordan ones with the, uh, like the light suede, kind of new bucket suede. Um, I said suede. <laughs> I've been watching Super Duper Rupert too much. Uh, Ratchet Reviews, he's hilarious you guys. I, I love watching his videos, um, he keeps it real. But shout out to Super. Um, but depending on that toe box, if it comes with that light suede, it's something about a 10 and a half. It, it, it's like more narrow to me. I could wear them and they don't look crazy. But um, I probably wouldn't have purchased these if I wasn't really miffed about missing out on the um, the Chicago LA version of these. That, those are the ones I really wanted. And of course we know the bots killed those. But once I got them home, I was looking at them. I wasn't super excited about it. And people called me on it. It was like, you, you really got those. Okay, when are you gonna wear them? I said, I don't know. I really don't. Um, I was kind of upset about the quick striking thing, but I felt like I had to have them. And these sneakers really have been chilling right here on this table inside this box for almost two weeks, you guys. Almost two weeks. And I look at them and I'm like, I don't think I'm going to wear these. I really don't. I don't think I'm going to wear this sneaker. I have the receipt in the box like I always do. Um, yeah, at, at the ready, I got the bag right here and everything. And um, I, I just feel like, uh, yeah, that th this is not a sneaker I'm gonna hold on to. All right, so I got, you know, basically two more weeks, if you will, to make up my mind or um, even exchange the shoe for something else, all right? Yeah, it says right here, to give a refund or exchange on unworn merchandise within 30 days with a receipt. Returns without a receipt for unworn merchandise are exchangeable for merchandise or merchandise return card in the amount of the lowest selling price for the last 60 days, which may include special sales and or multiple offers. There are no fees charged for exchanges, refunds, return. A copy of return policy is available upon request. Your satisfaction is our concern. Now, um, back in the day, I, uh, I talked about something that was going on with uh, Sneaker YouTube. And it's not me pointing the fingers. It was, uh, I, I noticed something as I was watching these videos and before I even launched my channel that uh, sneaker YouTubers, because they wanted to get a review out, they would cop that sneaker on release day Saturday. And you would never ever see that shoe again in their collection. They would do a collection video and you would never see that shoe that they drove around looking for and uh, you know, anim you know, being all ultra animated about I got them, this and that. Check them out. They're holding the bag up. I copped them. Then they do a a, a collection on a certain uh, silhouette, and you don't see that shoe anymore. You're like, what happened? Oh, I sold them. Oh, I sold them. Well, somebody let the cat out the bag of 
around the time I was watching and saying that they basically would cop the sneaker and they would return them on Tuesday. And <clears throat> this is, I actually found this out in San Antonio because when I bought my pair of sneakers, I'm trying to remember the sneaker it was that the customer service rep was like, please don't bring these back on Tuesday. I was like, what do you mean? They was like, you know, don't, don't bring them back on Tuesday. Just keep them, man, do something. Come on now. You know, it's getting out of hand. And I was like, what are you talking about? And he told me like, yeah, you know, people buy the sneaker, review them, then they bring them back on Tuesday. All right, another sneaker that I had buyer's remorse on and I actually lost the receipt. I'm looking for them. They, they, it's a 12. It's a Jordan. Ah, here they are. Found them right here. If I can get them off the shelf. These dropped right before the Concords. The Jim Red 12s. These are straight dead stock, you guys. I don't know what I did with the receipt. The bag is right here. Normally I put the receipt in the bag or underneath the sneakers. And this particular sneaker, I was like, you know something, this was a flat out impulse. It's a monochrome sneaker. I really don't do that all the time unless I really, really want the sneaker. And uh, what I was going to do was get this sneaker, hold it and see if I really liked it. And I was going to return it and use the difference for my Concord 11s. All right, because I didn't want to pay full price. <laughs> but I lost the receipt and it would not let me do an exchange on this sneaker. They would not let me do it because they knew what I was going to do. So I, I'm stuck with this sneaker. I'm cool with it now. I haven't worn it yet. Y'all know these release um, late November, early December, somewhere around there. I can't remember, but I know I was well within the time frame of um, the return, you know, 60, 30 days, whatever. In this case, uh, 60 days, I just wanted to swap them out. And I wasn't able to do that because I could not find the receipt, you know? And I, I, I've actually pulled this sneaker out a couple of times, you guys, and said, yeah, I'm gonna rock them. But I wind up wearing my flight suit reds or my red October dunks. And um, these are just here, all right? And I should like this shoe. I actually like all red sneakers. At first I didn't. I kind of like them. If you hook them up, uh, that, that trend has kind of worn off a little bit, but brands are still releasing monochrome red sneakers, you know? And that's okay. You like what you like. It's cool. Um, I don't beat anybody over the head about that, but this was purely a sneaker virus remorse. I can't put it in the shelf right now because I need to fix this box, but I'm not I'm not going to hold you guys. I'm no cap. I'm probably going to return these honestly because I'm. I was being impulsive. I felt like I couldn't get the LA to Chicago one, so I'm at least get these to have them in the collection. And I have a lot of gray ones, you know, mids, all that stuff. And um, even my yin yangs, kind of my perforateds, will probably fit the version of this. And sitting there rubbing off that, you know, the the light bone right here to um, get to the pink. Uh, I just don't see myself doing it. I, I don't see myself doing that. To get to the crimson tint. Yeah. Even um, my crimson tint, you know, those neutral grays. That's another impulse sneaker that I have yet to uh, sell. And I'm probably, it's up here somewhere. It's a, uh, yeah, it's, yeah. They're right here. They're actually 10 and a halves. I know I'm probably gonna sell that sneaker at some point. I'm just waiting. Um, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Do, you know, in summation, do any of you have buyer's remote? Do you have any sneakers in your collection? Like, you know something? Why did I buy these? Why? I don't know why I purchased these. Okay, what, what's going on? You know, talk to me. Like, I just held on to them, whatever. Oh yeah, I flipped those. What sneaker that you purchased that you said, you know something, they're pretty dope. I just bought them because, oh look, they're here. I copped those, you know, they got my size. I lucked up on them. Otherwise you weren't gonna buy them. So hit me up in the comment section. You know how I am. I like to chop it up with you guys. You guys have been really good about that. Um, you know, shout out to my um, my dude Gio. We go way back. We went to high school together, ran track together. You know, he's down in the comments all the time. Um, you know, talking about his his situations with sneakers and stuff like that. Um, he has a massive uh, sneaker collection. He and I could probably go shoe for shoe, but um, not quite sure how many pairs he has. But he has a, a really dope collection. Um, so shout out to you, Gio. Um, but yeah, this is purely 
buyer's remorse, you guys. Purely buyer's remorse. Uh, we're having a pretty intense rainstorm on my side of town. I was gonna take them in today and, um, you know, flip a couple of little things I had, but I don't mess with San Antonio drivers in the rain. But like I said, hit that comment section in there. Hit that like button, all right? Hit that subscribe button, all right? Do that. Follow the solution for kicks. Make sure you hit me up on Instagram too, man. You know, I, I got, you know, I, I think about 150 subscribers because I had people who drive by and everything and um, they yeah, check it out because it's public. All right. So the solution for kicks without the exclamation mark. That's my Instagram name. You see it right there in the lower thirds. Holler at me. I'm on there. All right. I don't post sneakers all the time. I've been delving into different stuff and um, I don't do the comedy thing on here. My comedy is actually on my Instagram page. I leave the haha -ha funnies for everybody else. I give you two direct, raw, and unscripted right here. But if you want to laugh a little bit from time to time, check out my Instagram page. And I'm out here. Boom. The solution.